Okay, so welcome to TSG Bells Hill. Uh, as you can see, we've finally got our Surface Hub device just a short nine months after ordering it from Microsoft. Uh, these devices have been incredibly popular and of course uh, a new device that Microsoft are manufacturing, so hence some of the delays. So what, what is the device? The device is designed to replace pretty much everything you'd expect to see in a normal boardroom. Everything from your speakers, which you can see on the left and right of the, of the device, obviously stereo, and also two stereo high definition video cameras as well, which will be used for things like video calling and conferencing. In addition to that, we have obviously one of the most important features that most people will use in a, in a boardroom, uh, presentation applications and obviously the whiteboarding tool. So um, the whiteboarding tool is just launched straight from the, from the opening screen and we get all the features that you'd expect to see. So I can choose my pen color and I have uh, dual pens that I can use uh, during that, those sort of sessions. So if I wanted to do a couple of servers, something like that, and link those two together, uh, you can see the speed of the device and how accurate the pen is. Uh, unfortunately, you probably can't read my writing, but it's, uh, it's pretty accurate and that's exactly what my writing looks like. So first of all, let's take a quick look at PowerPoint. Pretty likely that PowerPoint's gonna be one of the presentation uh, tools that you're gonna to want to use if you're in front of a customer or showcasing something. So we'll just look at one of the pre-built in uh, PowerPoint presentations. So if I just go quickly into view uh, and start that off, there we are. Uh, of course, PowerPoint out the box has the ability to ink straight onto the application. So if I wanted to circle something or make a highlight on something like that and then move on to the next page, I can, I can obviously do that. I've got the ability to tap on these, these different sort of segments and circle things or change colors or I can actually pull down the menu to actually go onto the ink tools themselves and change colors perhaps for a highlighter. So really, really simple and easy to use. Uh, Obviously, I also have the ability within here to uh, zoom in and zoom out uh, of the PowerPoint presentation. So I can sort of highlight the text and make it a lot larger if, if I really need to. So perhaps if I'm showcasing something with a lot of detail on, you can shoot sort of straight into that. So next, we're gonna take a quick look at the Maps application, just so you can get a bit of a feel for the speed of the device. So when I click on the Maps application, it jumps straight up. I, I've then got let Windows Maps access your location. I can obviously hit the yes button. It'll go away now and find out where we are based on IP address, and it will then zoom in as we can see there's a little, a little blue dot there. Obviously what I can do is I can just click on the blue dot and zoom straight in. Uh, I can then tilt that if I want to, and of course I can zoom out and zoom out and zoom out. And if this is your kind of thing, you can, you can keep going and keep going. Obviously I can move that to an aerial view as well. You can see when I move to an aerial view, I get a complete map of the globe and I can pick it up and spin it round and zoom in and zoom out. So if I just zoom that in now, we should find ourselves back in Bells Hill. Keep going and going and going. And you can see just how quickly it's redrawing, drawing the screens there as I'm doing that. And obviously I can use the minus button if, if you're more comfortable doing that than using the multi finger gesture. And you can just get an idea of just how quick the device is from that. And obviously for things like 3D modeling, I've seen this demonstrated with, with wireframes and also solid 3D modeling, and it's incredibly fast. So for anyone demonstrating something uh, in perhaps AutoCAD, uh, also a fantastic tool. Very powerful built-in i7 processor in the device itself with a built-in PC. Uh, obviously, one of the most um, common applications that would be used on the, on the board is Microsoft Excel. So let's just quickly zoom into Microsoft Excel. Again, you see the speed that these applications open. So just picking, these are obviously pre-built in um, uh, sort of templates for Excel. So if I just decide to jump into one of these Excel templates, it will then give me the Excel template. And again, I could uh, type into any of these boxes and I can obviously, uh, where there is the ability to do input, I can change things, maximum value, minimum value, and I can adjust graphs and do all the normal things you'd expect to do in Excel. Uh, if I just jump back out of Excel there, obviously I've got Microsoft Word there as well, and I can put those two side by side. Again, obviously templates. And if I wanna type something in, I've got the ability to just type straight in there with the pop-up keyboard. So let's just shut, the, shut those two applications down and let's just jump back and have a quick look at um, Microsoft Edge. So Internet Explorer's replacement, Microsoft Edge, a very, very fast, rapid web browser. Just want to kind of show you on here uh, the video and the quality of the video um, that, that, that is uh, built into the hub. So if I just uh, say do a normal search here and you can see I can move the keyboard around wherever I want to uh, so that it's comfortable for me while I'm presenting. And I'm just gonna type in, I'm interested in videos on Surface Hub. 
and hopefully if I go to videos now and again you can see the speed that it's bringing up everything so let's just do this one here looks like quite an interesting one we want and every meeting to be great where things just click where ideas flow and work gets done the problem is technology hasn't been designed for the way we want to work together until now with Microsoft Surface Hub you can unlock the power of the group you can walk up and share your ideas on a canvas as big as your imagination you can touch the data so I'm not going to play the whole video there, but just to give you an idea of the quality of the audio and video that's possible through the device, again, um, built-in speakers. So if I just zoom out of that there, obviously any website or any application that is accessed via a web browser will run on the Surface Hub as well. So if you wanted to, de to demonstrate an application or perhaps we're in a training session using content straight from the web, you can do that as well as installing applications directly onto the Surface Hub device or mirroring it from a PC, which I'm going to come on and show you. So next, we're just going to take a quick look at accessing something like Office 365. I mentioned before that we could access any applications that run through a web browser uh, on, the, on the device. So what we'll do now is press the Windows Start menu there, and I'll just launch uh, Microsoft Edge. Obviously, I can bookmark um, these particular pages, but I'm going to show you it from, from the very beginning. So I'm just going to go to the browser there and type in um, portal.office.com which is the portal for Office 365, for those of you who don't know that. Uh, and what that'll do is now ask me for my uh, sign-in credentials. Okay, so this is Office 365 on the Surface Hub device. As you can see, I've got all my normal applications. So I've got SharePoint, OneDrive, Word, Excel that I can run online, Sway, Power Apps, and things like access to the store button there as well. And that's my email reminders popping up there. So what I can do is just pop into Planner there. Plan is a relatively new application. We can see here we've got I've got a couple of plans, one for Future Tech London, one for website updates. So if I click on my website updates, I can then say, for example, I'm interested in the charts to see where that particular set of tasks is. I can see in the group here there's only one person with an assigned task currently, and that's Stephen. If I wanted to capture that and say, how come you haven't moved this on, Stephen? What I can do is I can simply click, click the, uh, the little pointer button at the top for the pen, that then gives me a, an, an area to clip, and, and maybe I'm just interested in this section here. So hopefully you can see me drawing around there. I've now got that captured in the notebook application, so I can move that across. Now what I can do is I can simply ink onto there and say something like, how come you haven't started this? And then I can obviously email that back through the share option uh, within, within here. So just gives you a quick idea of how that, how that works. To jump back to my other application, click the button, button on the bottom, and then jump straight back to the website updates, and I can now get rid of that. So that gives you an idea that obviously anything that's accessible through the Microsoft Office online suite of applications is obviously able to be run through here. Okay, so next let's take a quick look at uh, a website and, and how browsing a website uh, works on the Surface Hub device. So running a normal website, I'm just gonna pick a a nice easy one that I can remember which is tsg.com so I can see there our website comes up click on uh, our website there if I can click there we are and uh, then again you see the speed that this actually draws draws up now we have a particularly quick website but it, it draws very very quick including all the graphics and obviously I can quickly say I'm quite interested in a whole world of technology and then it will take you into that particular page and you can see again the quality of, of um, the, br the browser, but of course then if I want to watch videos in, the, in there, I can launch videos straight away as well. I've also got things like access to the blogs and everything else I'd expect to be able to run. So there's nothing I can't run on here that I would run on a normal PC. So a very, very powerful way to browse and also to showcase anything that you've got already uh, loaded up. And of course you can see that I can zoom in and out to make things bigger and smaller depending on the type of uh, content that I'm actually showcasing on here. So very, very easy to browse around uh, any websites that you might want to showcase to customers or suppliers. Okay, so now we're just going to try connecting up my trusty Surface Pro 4 device here uh, onto the screen. So this is something that you might want to do if you are, say, showcasing something directly from your PC so you don't have to transfer data onto the Surface Hub to actually show it. All I do here is I swipe in from the right-hand side. You probably won't be able to see this because it's quite small. There's a little button called Connect. I then see something called Surface Hub Bells Hill. I simply connect on that. Uh, click on that and it will uh, wirelessly connect straight through to the Surface Hub device. And you can see there that is actually the, 
the, the picture that's actually on my screen at the moment. So from here, uh, I've actually got ticked allow access and input from the Surface Hub to my device. So I can scroll up and down on my Surface Hub device, but more likely what I'd want to do is put my Surface device out of the way, and perhaps if I'm standing up and presenting, control my PC directly from the Surface Hub device. And again, everything that's possible on my Hub device, on my Surface device is possible on the Hub. So things like zooming in on the website, playing video or content directly from here are all possible. So that shows you just how simple and easy it is to connect up those devices. But perhaps what would happen if I wanted to connect up my mobile phone to present it? Well, I have luckily here got my mobile phone. I'm just out of shot here. So I'm just going to wire up the mobile phone. And hopefully you can see uh, my mobile phone is just, just sitting on there at the moment and I'm plugged in using just a, a standard cable. So what I want to actually do is to now project my phone screen uh, directly onto the, onto the Surface Hub. So there's uh, a little application called Project, Project My Phone. And I'm just going to connect that now, project my screen. My phone will then flash up to tell me that that's what I'm about to do. And hopefully you can now see that my phone is actually now showing on the Surface Hub. Amazingly now, I can control my phone from the Surface Hub. So this is going via the Surface Hub to my Surface device and onto my mobile phone. And I have full access to control uh, my, my particular phone. So if I hit the Windows key there, you'll see that is my mobile phone. And there's all, all the stuff that I normally have on my mobile phone. And if I wanted to open up, for example, Bing search there and go onto the BBC website, which we were just on before, on my mobile phone, you can see that everything works just as if uh, it was there. So again, if you wanted to present something coming directly from your mobile phone, it's, it's a very, very neat application. Now clearly as well, I might want to actually capture that. So again, just swipe down from the top, click on there, and I can now say, well, actually, the thing I'm particularly interested in is this medical cannabis should become legal uh, as a particularly interesting story. And I can maybe circle that and I can uh, make a note on it. I can say this is interesting. And uh, I can forward that on to somebody uh, just via email as I would do normally. So quite, quite a, a neat little trick um, and something that will be useful for a lot of people if they're presenting mobile applications that they're perhaps building or showcasing to customers. So kind of concluding the, the uh, initial kind of uh, Surface Hub video, we're probably going to follow this up with, with future videos showcasing some of the video capability, the, uh, the room to room video capability, and also uh, showcasing how uh, the video will work with connection to single user devices as well. Um, but for now, just to get an idea of who's going to use the Surface Hub devices, well, for me, it's anybody that's currently using uh, older technology like projectors, whiteboards, screens, flip charts, etc., etc. This device really is designed to replace all of those older legacy technologies. It's incredibly simple to use, as you've hopefully seen there. And we've had just a few hours playing with it um, before kind of showcasing what we've shown you today. Um, we'll follow this up with videos around uh, uh, how to use some of the more in-depth features but for now, hopefully that's been a useful session.